Hey guys, today we're gonna to talk about some core psychology building blocks that you need to have on your pages and even in some of your outbound marketing that you've got going out. And going through these basic psychology building blocks is really going to help you tap into raising your conversions, designing your pages around meaningful hooks and those types of things. So let's get started. All right, let's just start off by, you know, kind of framing up the conversation today about psychology building blocks for a web page. Now, web pages have a lot of different, you know, varieties. We got, you know, home pages and all these different things and content pages and blog pages, but we're going to focus on core sales pages today or pages that we want the user to convert by taking some sort of action. And that's the action is mostly irrelevant to the conversation right now. One of the first things you've got to do on that page is you've got to say overtly what problem you actually solve whatever the thing is that you're selling. It doesn't matter if it's a product or a service. We need to know what the product solves right away. And there's a couple of reasons for that. One is we want the buyer with the problem to immediately identify themselves of having that problem. And the other one is we want everybody else that doesn't have that problem to quickly go away because we don't need them anyways. We're only focused on the folks that we can help. So we need to screen them off quickly by immediately stating what that problem is. And then you can get into the next pieces, which are the solution. Now the solution comes and it has lots of different things involved because sometimes that is, you know, my, my thingy, my widget does, this, this, and this, right? So those are feature, feature, feature. And those are important to have, and that's where a lot of the, you know, we spend a lot of energy, and, and it's you know normal to spend time on that stuff because we're proud of our product and everything. But that's not why people are gonna buy it. They're not gonna buy it based on features entirely. They're gonna buy it based on benefits. So from a psychology standpoint, on your landing pages and even in some of your copy and other areas that you're you know, creating marketing collateral for, benefits is what you really need to be focused on. And then to go one step further, you've got to be able to convey what the benefits mean to the buyer, right? So features, what the benefit of the feature is, and then what does that mean to them? right? Having that benefit in their life. Okay. So those are really core concepts that you have to address as you start to outline this product or service that's going to offer this solution. Okay. You've got to use those core elements as you put that together in your content, your copywriting and the page design and everything else. Okay. And then the last one, I mean, there's a lot more to this, but I wanna get you guys started on some basic stuff. I really feel strongly, and I don't think it's a big secret in the, in the business at all, that you feather in as much social proof as you possibly can about why your product is effective and what other users' experiences are. And the psychological reason behind that is, is that no one wants to feel like they're the only fool about to buy this thing, right? It, no one, people want the reassurance that other folks have been successful and or happy and or satisfied and or well served. Okay. They really need to, the new buyer really needs to have that assurance. And the most powerful way to give them that assurance is by showing them examples of other folks who've been successful with your product or service. So social proof is another core building block that you need to have on your landing pages. And frankly, in any area where you're going to about to ask somebody to buy, I mean, it's basically the digital version of you giving somebody a reference, right? That was the old days. Well, I'd love to, I'd love to, you know, do business with you. Do you have any references or is there someone I can call the, validate these claims or whatever that you're making. I mean, it all sounds good, of course, right? But, you know, people don't roll that way anymore. So social proof and showing stories might be testimonial videos, might be, you know, a little paragraph that somebody wrote, might be even shorter than that, 
but feathering those in is really important. So go ahead and make sure if you haven't done that, that you get that back on, you know, get that onto your pages. And, and just as a tip, we typically like to pad those in around the action item. So there's a button or a form or whatever the action is on the page. Padding in that social proof right there relieves that last objection that's floating around in the buyer's mind that are they just this weird, this fool for being there by themselves, you know, or, or is, have other people gone down this path, you know, safely? You know, it's kind of like the unknown road, right? So you just wanna, you wanna give them that assurance, all right? So there's a lot more uh, psychology uh, that you can bring into your pages, but these are some of the core principles that you really need to start with and you can build on those. Thanks for watching. Go ahead and like this video and I would love it if you would subscribe to the channel. We're doing a lot more videos and we're gonna cover more sales psychology coming up.